I am Cappy Pondex. Diane Tarazi. Sherry Nelson. I'm Peekaboo Street. And I got something to say. Female athletes have to overcome the bias that their game isn't as good as the men's game. Are boys bigger, stronger, faster? Yes. Is that all that has to do with being an athlete? No. The half pipe doesn't care that I'm a girl. I want to pitch for the Boston Red Sox. And when I look in the mirror, I see an athlete. I am a runner. A snowboarder. Ball player. Triathlete. Softball player. I am an athlete. And I'm proud of that athlete. There's nothing left to say. There's just a bird. Women athletes have reached a new level in sports. There are more females involved in sports than ever before. But do these numbers of participation really represent all There's realms of athletics? As we evolve in the 21st century with technology, no media is more accessible than ever. With a positive comes a negative, and that negative is the pressures and expectations that are put on females of all ages. To show the full story of the media, women of all levels in sports share their experiences of what's really going on. The media has the largest influence on how society views and thinks about female athletes. Because of the media putting out a perfect image of girls all the time, women are starting to feel less confident in their own body. 97% of women think negatively of their own body 13 times on average every day. 50% of women feel worried that they are too fat. 91% of NCAA athletes report that they have encountered another athlete with an eating disorder. Not only does the media have effect on grown women, but severely affects teens and young girls because that's the only image they know. 69% of girls in 5th through 12th grade reported that magazine pictures influenced their idea of a perfect body image. Kaylin Richardson is a 30-year-old strong and inspiring alpine skier. After being in two Olympics, spending 10 years on the U.S. ski team, and traveling around the world, she has seen almost every aspect of sports. With seeing all of this, she has also seen the problems with the media and how it puts a figure for girls to idolize. I'm Keegan Randall, Olympic skier and World Cup sprint champion. Keegan is spunky and caring and is also one of the best Nordic skiers in the world. In order to empower girls and aspiring athletes, she founded the organization Fast and Female. By going across the country and holding day camps and giving support, teen girls are starting to feel more comfortable in their own skin, despite the media saying otherwise. Hi, I'm Gabby Q. I'm 15 years old and I play volleyball and softball. When technology allowed media to be more widely and quickly accessible, the ideal appearance of women seemed to have changed. Now, the definition of body image is not just how a woman looks at herself, but how an expectation and standard may be forced onto them by others or the media. Kaylin is a good friend with Lindsay Vaughn, a very successful and widely known skier. In 2010, they were both at a press conference that was supposed to be focusing on the Olympics. But all the press could talk about is the newly released Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition of 2010 that featured Vaughn in a swimsuit on the cover. Questions were being asked on, why did you do it, and do you think this is a good role model for girls, instead of focusing on sports? Kaylin decided to stand up for Lindsay. In front of us, I just said, I don't know about what Ms. Vaughn thinks, but as far as I'm concerned, if I was her, I'd be like, you know, these are beautiful, feminine photos that I'm going to have for the rest of my life. It's such a negative way to look at femininity to say that just because she's this big time strong athlete that she can also have this side too. Just by showing off her body, she was judged and criticized in the media instead of focusing on her sports. Sometimes, even in high school, it doesn't matter how good you are, how good you play, it's about how good you look. When I think of a perfect athlete, I think of someone who's really, really skinny, really fit, beautiful, gorgeous, just perfect. Teenage girls across the country, just like Gabby, struggle with being an athlete. Because of all the criticism and focus towards a perfect athlete, 
High school girls often do not feel like they are good enough. Is that girls and boys go into sports at the same kind of participation rate, but then when girls go into high school, they start dropping out six times more than boys. A lot of my friends have dropped out of sports because they don't feel good enough about themselves, or like they're not good enough. Aren't seeing women staying involved in sports um, through their whole lives, uh, either as athletes or as leaders, and I think that's that's a trend that really needs attention, and it's getting attention. Every day I see people struggle with eating disorders because of the twisted images of perfect people that the media puts out there. That I would put a lot of pressure on myself yep. and in retrospect, looking back with the clarity of hindsight, I sometimes wish I just would have relaxed a little bit more and just had a little bit more confidence. With these pressures, there's no wonder that one in five girls suffer from an eating disorder and over 30% of athletes also. Whether the media discourages Olympic athletes or young girls, both can be hurt deeply. The problems that the media brings can cause girls to drop out of a sport, not feel confident and proud of their body, or even cause them to have an eating disorder. Although female athletes on the outside may look healthy and strong, a whole other battle with society might be going on in the inside. The future of female athletics depends on reinforcing the perception that female athletes are not skinny, good-looking, and beautiful, but are rather strong and inspiring. It's time for a drastic change in the way female athletes are portrayed by the media in order to set the stage for a more positive and welcoming athletic environment for the future.